Hi, I'm Sam Dawson. I'm Andrew Chong. And we are uh, we're computer engineering students at the University of California, Davis. And uh, we built this as uh, an optional junior design project. So here we have uh, a bunch of boxes with little ping pong balls on top. And what these boxes are doing is they're talking to each other using little blinks of infrared light. Each one of these boxes has its own code that it blinks out with its little infrared LEDs. And all of the boxes are, they look for all of the codes coming into them with little sensors. And each box has a color associated with it. That color is not the color that that box will light up, but it's the color that any box that goes next to it will light up. So for example, if we look at these two boxes on the side, this box in the back is pink, but this is actually the red box. And we know that because it turns the box next to it red. And this box, this one that's lit up red, is actually the pink box because it turns other boxes pink. So if we pull this one out and take it away, then it no longer has a color because it doesn't see anything. This guy hasn't, doesn't have a color because it doesn't see anything. We put this one back in here, we slide them close to each other, they light each other back up. Over on this side, we have a few boxes going at once. And what's going on here is they're kind of seeing several signals at once. Um, and so they're alternating between the different colors that they're receiving. We get this kind of, uh, we get these various like teal colors that are mixtures of blue and green and they're all alternating through right now to get their different colors and we can kind of mix things up by changing the order around and we'll get different colors. And so in the course of this project, we uh, had to learn a few different techniques. First, we had to make sure we were up on our soldering skills to put everything together. But uh, we really started with uh, the code. We started by thinking of how these should behave, and then we programmed that for uh, MSP430 microcontrollers written in C. And first we got the code working, we tested it out, and then we started working on the enclosures and the uh, boards here. Here you can see there's yeah, an earlier one, this box. It's just on a, a solder board. Um, but then we, we moved on after we made the solder board and we designed printed circuit boards. Set these up using some computer tools and then we had them printed out. We soldered onto there. You can see it's a little fancier than the other one. And so that's this uh, whole box. It's got four emitters on each box, one for each direction. These are uh, infrared LEDs and then four receivers for each direction. Ping pong ball to diffuse our color that we're going to light up little microcontroller mounted on the bottom, if we can see that, and then a battery, 9 volt at the bottom, we get about 8 to 10 hours of battery left before we have to switch them out. And that's our design project for UC Davis's EE Emerge program. And uh, once again, talk about the practical application of these, uh, these devices here. So we, in the process of this, we mostly design these for children, so directly there's not really an industry application for this. But uh, the techniques are interesting because we're doing uh, sensing that's very directional. Um, we're, not, we're not sending out like, uh, you know, uh, omnidirectional radio wave or anything. So we can tell when something is in close proximity to something else. Very good. And is there any information on the website, perhaps, or about your program? Uh, you can check out ece.ucdavis.edu. All right. And when do you guys graduate? Uh, next year. We're juniors right now. All right. Thank you. Thank you.